ocean, over the clouds, and around the world. Here comes the wild side of wildlife. The Animal Show! And now, let's have a wild welcome for your furry friends. Stinky and Shake! Now it's the Animal Show! Hello, all you little uh, trees. Jake, Jake, Jake. Uh, mm. Oh, oh. Uh, hello, all you little animals out there. I'm Stinky. And I'm Jake. And today we have one very special guest, the mouse. And we have a special surprise for our guest. We're going to honor the mouse today with visits from some of the most important animals in his life. Oh, Stinky, that's great. A party to celebrate his life. This time you've really come up with something wonderful. Well, of course, Jake. When have I ever done something that wasn't wonderful? Well, let's see. Uh, oh, there was that time with the snake and the time with the gorilla. Jake. And don't forget the raccoon and the Jake. canoe and the you spider can stop monkey. now, Jake. And the gazelle. That was a real mess. <sighs> and now it's time for... That's amazing! Today we look at one of the hungriest animals on Earth. The shrew. The shrew is a small mammal. In order to stay alive, it has to eat half its own weight worth of food every 24 hours. That's like a human being eating 33 course meals in one day. Wow. The always hungry shrew. Another animal that'll make you hide your sausage and peppers and say... That's amazing! And now it's time to bring out our special guest who will be representing mice, shrews, and voles. Voles! Yes, and here he is from the Arctic to the tropics to everywhere in between. In between! Welcome Stanley the Mouse. Oh my, walking outside in the open like this doesn't seem like such a good idea. I'd much rather be inside of a wall, if you know what I mean. Welcome, Stanley. What's wrong? You seem a little nervous. Of course I'm nervous. We mice don't like to be seen. It's safer that way. Well, you're perfectly safe here. Yeah, and will you see the surprise we have for you. Surprise? Oh, we mice definitely do not like surprises, no siree. Uh, let me show you what I mean. Oh, you brought a clip? You see, mice are curious. Mm -hmm. We like to know what's going on around us all the time. Yeah, but being curious can also be dangerous. You bet it can. That's why we're also very careful. Now, what is this mouse doing? That's Bernie. He's looking for food. If he doesn't find any, he heads back home. Home is inside a wall? It is for house mice. Walls are a great place to live. They're warm, dark, and too small for bigger animals to come in after us. But not all mice live in walls, right? Of course not. Bernie, you're gonna fall! No, no, no. Bernie, no. look out! Stinky. Whoa! No, no. Don't worry. We mice have a great sense of balance. And the claws on our feet can get a grip on wood, brick, concrete, and almost anything. Uh, but if you're so good at getting around, why are you so worried? It doesn't seem like anything could hurt you. It's because mice are always being hunted. You see, Jake, we're what they call a prey species. That means everybody is out to get us. Uh, cats, badgers, weasels. Yeah, well, at least he didn't mention any of the animals I invited to honor him. Not oh, to yeah. mention owls, snakes, foxes. Uh-oh. Um, oh, what do you mean, uh-oh? But our worst enemies are human beings. I don't know why, but human beings are just not happy to see us around their homes. Sticky, what did you mean, uh-oh? Uh, later, Jake. Uh, but, but uh, Stanley, uh, if humans don't like you, then why do you live in their houses? Because that's where the food is. Oh, oh, look, there's a nice piece of cheese. Well, that's not just cheese, that's a trap. Hey, be careful, little mouse. If you touch that cheese, the trap's gonna catch your tail. Oh, I can't watch oh, this. This is dangerous, oh, I can't watch oh, either. Oh, oh. Fellas, fellas, you can look. Uh, that's Amanda. And she knows what she's doing. You see, mice weigh so little. Uh, we can sometimes walk across a trap like that and not set it off. Oh, and by the way, we prefer peanut butter to cheese, just in case you want to send a gift. Hey, look at those shadows. And hey, is that a giant mouse walking with those elephants? No, that's Amanda again. She is such a little jokester. That's the old elephant shadow trick. It's always a big hit at mouse parties. Way to go, Amanda. <laughs> you really got them that time. <laughs> well, uh, speaking of parties, uh, Stinky, I think you better call your party off. But party? What, what party? Oh, well, I sort of planned a party to celebrate your life. Hey, Stanley, remember me? I chased you across an open field. Who's that? Who else? It's me. Good to see you again, Stanley. You look delicious. <laughs> you, you, you invited an owl to a party for a mouse? Oh, what are you, some kind of weirdo? Uh, 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 Mr. Owl, maybe uh, you'd just better wait over there while we work this yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, I'll be yeah. waiting. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, 
Oh, oh boy, I'm sorry, oh. Stanley. I didn't know that mice were afraid of birds. Well, you, you didn't know better. And anyway, we're not afraid of all birds. You see, we're not afraid of chickens. Is there a mouse in there somewhere? Uh, just keep your eye on the food and you're sure to find the mouse. That's the farm where my cousin Clyde lives. With all those chickens? Sure. Don't get me wrong, we mice avoid chickens if we can. But mice are a lot faster than chickens and other farm animals. Besides, farms are great because there are always lots of food around. So mice eat chicken feed? Well, horse feed, sheep feed, even the crops out in the field. We got a powerful appetite. No, oh, you must not be too popular with the farmers. Definitely not. If we get in a farmer's grain, we, we can spoil it. Those farmers are always trying to get rid of us. They're the only animals we must just like more than ours. Yes, Stanley. Oh, snakes. When huh? do we eat? Oh, oh keep oh, her away from me. Keep oh, her away from me, please. Oh, 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 please keep her away. Uh, uh, listen, I'll, I'll take care of this. Mrs. Yeah, yeah, Snake, yeah, yeah. could you wait over there with the owl, please? Yeah. I'll introduce oh, you. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Thank you. I am so sorry about this, Stanley. Oh, that's okay, Stinky. You just don't know. And the claws on our feet did all the time. Um, watch. It's not easy being a mouse. You gotta be prepared, always on guard, always. Ooh. Uh, I can't take this. I gotta go. Oh, but don't go, Stanley. We need you to stay and tell us about shrews and voles. Oh, okay. As long as there are no more owls. Oh. Uh, no, no owls. No, no owls. Just a snake and a fox. What, what did you say? Hmm? Oh. Um, uh, well, I, I, I just said that it's time for oh. baby, baby talk. talk. <laughs> Sleep. Just because you've just been born doesn't mean you can lie around all day. Come along, follow me. Chop, chop. No, oh, oh, I'm tired. Oh, leave it alone. Oh, I'd follow you if I could move. Uh, children, I'm waiting. That's it. Come with me this way. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, good. Oh, I can get some sleep now. <laughs> you too come along, don't dawdle. That's better now. I'll give you all a nice bath. <laughs> I can't get sleep. I've got to get food. Oh, yeah. There's nothing quite so nice as busy, maybe be. I'm glad there are no more owls on the show. I'm Wanda Rat, Rome Reporter, getting you answers to today's tough questions. Let's see if this animal knows the answer. Ma'am. Yeah. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Which of the following animals has a venomous bite? The rattlesnake, the gila monster, the shrew, or the tarantula? Your answer. They all do. That's right. 
How did you know? Hey, I'm a cheetah. What do you expect? That is the right answer. The rattlesnake, Gila monster, shrew, and tarantula all have a venomous bite that's filled with poison. Let's take a look at the shrew hunting for its food. In fact, hunting is not the right word to use here. Shrews have very poor eyesight and use their whiskers to find out what's going on. They don't really know where food is until they run into it. And this shrew has run into a nice, juicy earthworm. Shrews lead short, hectic lives. They never sleep for more than an hour or so between meals. And they must eat the equivalent of 30 three-course meals a day to get enough energy to keep up their high-speed pace. There is no such thing as a shrew on a diet. As for exercise, chewing one earthworm is the same as running a marathon. And this is Rhonda Rat reporting on the shrew. Back to you, Stinky and Jake. I want my breakfast, but I've lost my spoon. I'm really hungry, and it's almost noon. If I don't eat, I think I'm gonna swoon. And that's really not okay. Well, I hope I find my spoon today. What else have I got to lose? Well, then I lost my glasses and I could not see. If you held up one, it would look like three. Is that a dog or a cow or a pig or a tree? You know, I really couldn't say. Well, I hope I find my glasses today. What else have I got to lose? Well, then I lost my voice and here's the thing. I couldn't talk or shout or even sing. And singing is my favorite way to swing. You know, I do it most every day. other night I've got the left but not the right when I get it back I'm gonna lace it tight so it can't ever get away I hope I find my shoe today what else have I got to lose I even lost myself the other day I got confused I lost my way where I went I could not say but it all turned My soul will soar, my step will spring every single day. I've had enough of singing this here blues, now I've got nothing, nothing left to lose. Thanks, Rhonda. You, you know, it's kind of funny that you're having a party for me and you invite my worst enemies, the owl and the snake. I know. Uh, the only thing that'd be worse is if you invited... Hello, Stanley. A fox? <laughs> when do we eat? Oh, this is uh, a fox. Uh, if you're hungry, uh, perhaps you'd like to go see our chef, Eve St. LaRoche. Oh, good, I'm starving. Yeah, bye-bye. Uh, here's Eve. Bonjour, bonjour, my petit animal friends. It is I, Yves Stanley Roach, and today I have invited three of Stanley the Mouse's friends over for dinner in hope that they will not eat Stanley. And here are Mr. Owl, Mrs. Snake, and Mrs. Fox. Uh, tell me, Mr. Owl, what would you like? Uh, I'd like the mouse and gravy. Oh, I'm afraid we do not have any more mouse. I'm so sorry. I did that for you, Stanley. And what about you, Mrs. Snack? I would like barbecue mouse. No, I'm so sorry, but the new shipment of mass has not yet come in. Uh-oh, things do not look too good for Stanley, no? Uh, how about you, Mrs. Fox? I'm so hungry, I could eat a horse. <laughs> Uh-oh, now things do not look too good for me. Why? <laughs> That's why. Oh, good evening, Your Majesty. Would you care to dance? <laughs> Thanks, Eve. Oh, and thank you, Mr. Horse. Oh, well, anytime, Jake. 
Now, now, Stanley, do you feel up to telling us about your cousins, the shrews and the voles? Only if there are no more surprise guests. Oh, oh I, I promise, I promise. All right, then. All right, now, what's the difference between shrews and mice? Well, we're related. But there are all kinds of differences. For one, shrews don't live inside walls like mice do. They live in burrows like this one. Come out of there, Sherman. Uh, that's Sherman Shrew. Very nice fellow. Hiya, Sherm. Well, now, Sherman sure looks like a mouse. That he does, except his snout is longer, like a mole or a hedgehog. Also, shrews have sharper teeth than mice. Oh, how come? Because shrews eat meat, while mice eat mostly grain and seed. Now, can shrews swim? The water shrew sure can. Water shrews are good swimmers. Their toes are fringed so they can use them like paddles when they dive through the water. Now, is Sherman looking for a fish? More likely he's trying to dig up some insect larvae. Oh, that's good eating. Well, it is for a shrew. Mm. Wow, he looks different underwater. Kind of silvery. Now, that's just what happens when a shrew dives into the water. Air gets under his fur and makes it look silver. When he comes out of the water, a shrew has to be very careful about squeezing all the water out of his fur. Why is that? Because it gets very cold in their burrows, and if the shrew has any water in his fur, he'll lose heat and freeze. The same is true for voles. Well, tell us more about voles. Well, I'd be glad to. Here are a couple of bank voles. They're called that because... They work at the bank? <laughs> good guess. <laughs> but they're not very good at finance. Oh. They are called bank voles because they live near the banks of streams and rivers. Can they swim as well as the water shrew? The bank vole doesn't. He'd rather stay in the brambles and bushes. Voles and shrews seem to eat whatever food they can find. Just like mice. You see, Jake, as a rule, members of the mouse, shrew and vole families are not picky eaters. Me neither. Yeah, we eat whatever we find, and whatever we find, we eat. That's my motto, too. Well, I'm glad to hear it, Stinky. I knew I liked something about you, even though you invited that fox and owl and snake. Well, tell me, Stanley, are there any other kinds of voles besides bank voles? Thanks for changing the subject, Jake. Well, funny you should mention it. I just happened to bring some pictures of my good friends, the water voles. Mm. There they are, a very nice family if I say so myself. <laughs> they eat greens just like the bank voles, but water voles like the grasses that grow right in the water. Mm. They'll swim anywhere for a good meal. Well, all you guys seem to think about is eating. I like that. Well, when you're right, you're right, Stinky. I guess it's because my shrews and voles are very active. We use up so much energy that we have to eat all the time. Well, why are you all so active? Couldn't you just take it easy? Ah, oh, we wish we could. But you see, Stinky, mice and shrews and voles don't have many ways to defend themselves. We've got sharp teeth, uh, but if a predator comes after us, we're gone. So you always have to be on guard and moving. Right. A uh, moving target is harder to catch. We've got to be careful. We've got good ears so we can hear danger coming. But to tell you the truth, we can barely see beyond our whiskers. So, so you have to be especially careful or you're going to end up at someone's dinner. I'll tell you, boys, it's tough being a mouse. Well, could you tell us about it in a song? Oh, thought you'd never ask. Oh. Oh. Here's Stanley singing, It's Tough Being a Mouse. <coughs> it's tough being a mouse. Being a mouse is dangerous. It's tough. Being a shrew, it may not be too good for you It's tough Being a vole, being a vole's a real rough roll But worse is being a rat Folks hate rats and that is that But we gain strength from it all Pretty soon we feel six feet tall Oh yes, let's beat our chest Let them know that we're the best So mice and voles and shrews Sing it loud and spread the news That we will not be beat Find some of a sucker to eat Oh who am I kidding? It's tough Being a mouse Being a mouse is dangerous If you know it's good for you Don't be a rat, mouse, vote or shrew Sorry I still don't feel comfortable with all those predators around oh. I better be going No, 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 
you got his day. It's time for Jake's story. Okay, but <sighs> after the story, I'm gone. Uh, Go whatever. ahead, Jake. Okay, all right. Uh, once upon a time, there were some very tiny animals called dust mites. One day, the dust mites thought they just might have a get-together. We've never had a get-together before, said Daryl Dust Mite. What do we do, said Denton Dust Mite. We get together, said Delia Dust Mite. So the dust mites got together. They came from the far corners of the bed for the dust might get together. They pushed and shoved, all trying to get a good spot. Unfortunately, Dodie, Dean, and Donald Dust Mite got lost and never made it. But Daryl, Denton, and Delia were right in the middle of the get together. Come on, Daryl, said Delia. Let's tell everyone we got together for a get together. So Daryl and Delia climbed up to the highest strand of cotton, shouting, Hey, tiny insects everywhere! We've had a get-together! The only ones who heard them were the grain weevils, but they didn't like getting together. And so the dust mites went on having get-togethers while the grain weevils didn't. And they all lived happily ever, ever after. after. The, the end. Wow. That was the best dust mite story I've ever heard, Jake. Thanks. But I better get going. <laughs> Uh, that owl, fox, and snake are starting to look hungry. Oh, oh the, wait a minute. This is all my fault, and I'm going to take care of it. Say, Armstrong! Yeah, Bunny? It's habitat time! It's habitat time who? It's habitat time there! Whoa! Hey, hey, we can't go in there. That's a human's house. We're animals. But lots of animals live in here, Armstrong. Hello, baby. Now, that is one gorgeous bird. That's a house martin. She's building a nest out of mud under the eaves of the roof. Ooh. Oh, and you see that little dot on the window? No. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, it looks like some kind of beetle. It's a carpet beetle. He's a long way from a carpet, isn't he? Hey, beetle, you're going the wrong way. Yuck, what a mess. A human's mess is a housefly's feast. The real name for housefly is Musca domestica. Ole. Housewives eat just about anything. Wow, look at those eyes. Oh, yeah. They're made of thousands of separate lenses, which are really good at seeing movement. Huh. And they got mouths, which are really good at eating sugar. Look. Hey, uh, what does this guy think he's doing? It's a furniture beetle boring a hole through a table. Yeah? Well, he's boring, all right. No, he's <laughs> not. I'm strong. <laughs> oh, that little guy started as an egg in a piece of wood. While he was turning into a lava, the wood was made into a table, and now that he's a grown-up beetle, he's boring out. Ah, oh, you're right. It's not so boring. Mm-hmm. Now that guy's found the soft spot. It's the lava of a clothes moth. It will fit on those yummy towels and leave them full of holes. Very annoying to humans. Mm. Oh, hey, where are we now? In the pipes in the bathroom. And look! There's a spider. Hey, how you doing there, spider? How's it going? Don't say nothing. What? Oh, oh no, I, I can't look. That human's letting out the water. Run, spider, you, you're gonna get, you're gonna... It's gonna be fine, Armstrong. No, but look, hey. No, no, just wait a minute. What? See? She's in the overflow uh, pipe. Let's get out of here before that human finds us. Oh, boy, that was close. Oh, no, it wasn't. Oh, yes, it was. Oh, no, it wasn't. Oh, yes, it was. Say, I'm strong. Yeah, Bunny? For Habitat Time, it's... Bunny Bear. And I'm strong, the chicken hawk, just back from a house. Over to you, Rhonda. But them. Once again, I'm Rhonda Rat, Roving Reporter, giving you answers to today's top questions. Let's see if this animal knows the answer. Sir, yes. which of these animals is a rodent? The harvest mouse, the brown rat, the koi pu, or the roe deer? Well, I'm not sure. Rodents are so delicious. Delicious? <laughs> yes, you look pretty tasty yourself. Oh, well, uh, let me say it. <laughs> Trap door! <laughs> now, back to our question. Three of these animals are rodents, and one isn't. Can you guess which one is not? Yes, it was the roe deer. He was the odd one out. Now back to you, Stinky and Jake. The 
thanks, Rhonda, and thank you, Stanley. Oh, thanks. Uh, you know, I, I wonder if Stinky can really make sure the owl, fox, and snake won't bother me ever again. Well, if anyone can, Stinky can. <laughs> hey, guess what? I talked to the owl, fox, and snake, and they agreed that you are free to leave. That's good. And that they'll give you a five-minute head start before they start chasing you. That's bad. I'm gone. Oh. Well, uh, uh, until next time, keep on seeing the world through the eyes of animals. Wait.